Welcome to Amazing Life 1 2 channel guides today you watching Kate Beckinsale lifestyle biography and beautiful pictures I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video. Kate Beckinsale biography Catherine Romani Beckinsale born the 26th of July 1973 is an English actress and model. After some minor television roles, her film debut was Much Ado About Nothing, 1993, while a student at the University of Oxford. She appeared in British costume dramas such as Prince of Jutland, 1994. Cold Comfort Farm, 1995. Emma, 1996. Shooting Fish, 1997, a contemporary romantic crime comedy, and The Golden Bowl, 2000, in addition to various stage and radio productions. Kate Beckinsale Beckinsale at the San Diego Comic Con in 2011. Born Catherine Romani Beckinsale the 26th of July 1973, age 49. London, England Education U College, Oxford Occupation Actress Years Active 1991 Present Spouse. Len Wiseman, M. 2004. Div. 2019, Partner, S. Michael Sheen. 1995-2003, Children 1 Parents Richard Beckinsale, Father. Judy Liu, mother, relative Samantha Beckinsale, half-sister. Roy Battersby, stepfather, Beckinsale started film work in the United States in the late 1990s. After appearing in small-scale dramas The Last Days of Disco, 1998, and Broke Down Palace, 1999, she starred in the war drama Pearl Harbor, 2001, the romantic comedy Serendipity, and Tiptoes, 2003. She followed those with starring roles in The Aviator, 2004, and Click, 2006. All these films established her as a protagonist in Hollywood. Since playing the role of Celine in the Underworld film series 2003-2016, Beckinsale has become known for her work in action films, including Van Helsing, 2004. Whiteout, 2009. Contraband, 2012, and Total Recall, 2012. She continues to make appearances in smaller dramatic projects such as Snow Angels 2007, Nothing But The Truth 2008, and Everybody's Fine 2009. For the two first films she received positive reviews. In 2016, she received critical acclaim for her performance in the period comedy film Love and Friendship, for which she received a nomination for the Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Actress in a Comedy. She returned in action films with Joel 2021. She also starred in two television projects with The Widow 2019 and Guilty Party 2021. Early Life Beckinsale was born on 26 July 1973 in the Chiswick District of London, 4-5 the only child of actors Richard Beckinsale and Judy Liu. 6. She has an older paternal half-sister, actress Samantha Beckinsale, but they are not in regular contact. 6. Her father was partly of Burmese descent. 7-8. Her parents did not marry until 1977, prior to Beckinsale starting nursery school, 9, when she made her first television appearance at age 4, in an episode of This Is Your Life dedicated to her father. 10. When she was 5, her 31-year-old father died instantly of a heart attack. She was deeply traumatized by the loss and started expecting bad things to happen. 11. 6. Her widowed mother moved in with director Roy Battersby when Beckinsale was nine, and she was brought up alongside his four sons and daughter. 12. She has a close relationship with her stepfather, six, who was a member of the Workers' Revolutionary Party during her youth. 13. She helped to sell the news line, a Trotskyist newspaper, as a little girl and has said the household phone was tapped following Battersby's blacklisting by the BBC. 13. Family friends included Ken Loach and Vanessa Redgrave. 13. Beckinsale was educated at Godolphin and Latimer School, an independent school for girls in Hammersmith, West London, and was involved with the Orange Tree Youth Theatre. 14. She was twice a winner of the W. H. Smith Young Writers Award for both fiction and poetry. 15. She has described herself as a late bloomer, all of my friends were kissing boys and drinking cider way before me. I found it really depressing that we weren't making campfires and everyone was doing stuff like that. 16. She had a nervous breakdown and developed anorexia at age 15, 17, and underwent Freudian psychoanalysis for four years. 6. Beckinsale read French and Russian literature at New College, Oxford, and was later described by contemporary journalist Victoria Coren Mitchell, as, whip clever, slightly nuts, and very charming. 18. She became friends with Roy Kinnear's daughter Kirsty. 
19. She was involved with the Oxford University Dramatic Society, most notably being directed by fellow student Tom Hooper in a production of A View from the Bridge at the Oxford Playhouse. 20. As a modern languages student, she was required to spend her third year abroad, and studied in Paris. She then decided to quit university to focus on her burgeoning acting career, it was getting to the point where I wasn't enjoying either thing enough because both were very high pressure. 6. Personal life relationships Beckinsale was in a relationship with Welsh actor Michael Sheen from 1995 to 2003. They met when cast in a touring production of The Seagull in early 1995 and moved in together shortly afterwards. 206, 207, 208. In 1997, they voiced an audiobook production of Romeo and Juliet. 55. Their daughter, Lily, was born in 1999 in London. 209. In 2001, Beckinsale said she was embarrassed that she never proposed. 41, 210, but felt as though she was married. 211. They broke up in early 2003, after the filming of Underworld. 212. Beckinsale and Sheen remain close friends, she remarked in 2016, he's really dear, close family. He's somebody I've known since I was 21 years old. I really love him a lot. 213. Beckinsale met American director Len Wiseman while working together on 2003's Underworld. 214. She persuaded Wiseman to cast Sheen in the film, 215, but while on set, the two fell in love. Wiseman's then-wife Dana, a kindergarten teacher, claimed infidelity in Budapest, 216. But Beckinsale and Wiseman denied having a sexual relationship while in the midst of filming Underworld, 217. They married on 9 May 2004 in Bel Air, California, 218, but separated in November 2015. Wiseman filed for divorce in 2016, citing irreconcilable differences 219, 220, and the divorce was finalized in November 2019, 221. In January 2019, Beckinsale was reported to be dating American comedian Pete Davidson, but by April they had called time on their romance 222. Personal and political beliefs Beckinsale is a smoker 223. When she was nine, her mother moved in with Roy Battersby, and his sons introduced her to cigarettes. 17. She is a teetotaler, stating in 2003, I've never been drunk even. I've never taken drugs. I've never had a one-night stand. 224. In 2007, she appeared alongside David Schwimmer in the sixth of the Writers Guild of America member-conceived internet videos for Project Speechless, in support of the WGA labor strike against the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. 225-226. In 2012, she appeared alongside Judy Greer and Andrea Savage in the Funny or Die video, Republicans, Get In My Vagina, a satire of the Republican Party's policies concerning abortion and prenatal care. 227. Legal actions In July 2003, the Press Complaints Commission dismissed a complaint filed by Beckinsale. She alleged that the tabloid Daily Mail had invaded her and her daughter's privacy by publishing photographs of the actress embracing and kissing her then-boyfriend Len Wiseman. 228. The article in question was headlined, Mummy's latest love scene leaves Lily unimpressed, and included a picture in which her then four-year-old daughter appeared to be ignoring her mother's romantic actions. 228. The commission found that the photographs had been taken in a public place and did not reveal any private details about Lily, such as her health or schooling, but were restricted to general observations about her apparent reaction to her surroundings. 228. In August 2003, Beckinsale received a published apology from the Daily Mail after it claimed that she had spent time in a clinic following her breakup with Michael Sheen. 229. The apology was issued after she filed a complaint with the Press Complaints Commission. 229. In 2009, Beckinsale was awarded £20,000 in damages by the British High Court after taking legal action against Express newspapers. 230. The Daily Express had falsely reported that she was facing heartbreak after losing out on a role in a remake of Barbarella. 230. 
Philanthropy The British Heart Foundation has been Beckinsale's charity of choice ever since she was six years old, 231, 232, when her father, who had a congenital heart defect, died of a massive heart attack. She has also donated film memorabilia to the Epidermolysis Bullosa Medical Research Foundation, 233, 234. Medicina, 235. Habitat for Humanity 236 and the Entertainment Industry Foundation 237. In 2008, she hosted the fourth annual Pink Party to raise funds for the Women's Cancer Research Institute at Cedars Sinai Medical Center 238 and organized a screening of All About Eve for Film Aid International 239. In 2012, Beckinsale joined Nestlé's Share the Joy of Reading program to raise awareness about the importance of people's literacy. 240. Career 1991-1997, early acting roles Beckinsale decided at a young age she wanted to be an actress, I grew up immersed in film. My family were in the business. I quickly realized that my parents seemed to have much more fun in their work than any of my friends' parents. 21. She was inspired by the performances of Jeanne Moreau. 22. She made her television debut in 1991 with a small part in an ITV adaptation of P. D. James Devices and Desires. 23. In 1992, she starred alongside Christopher Eccleston in Rachel's Dream, a 30-minute Channel 4 short, 24, and in 1993, she appeared in the pilot of the ITV detective series, Anna Lee, starring Imogen Stubbs. 25. In 1993, Beckinsale landed the role of hero in Kenneth Branagh's big screen adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing. It was filmed in Tuscany, Italy, during a summer holiday from Oxford University. 26. She attended the film's Cannes Film Festival premiere and remembered it as an overwhelming experience. Nobody even told me I could bring a friend. 16. I had Doc Martens boots on, and I think I put the flour from the breakfast tray in my hair. 27. Peter Travers of Rolling Stone was won over by her, lovely, performance 28. While Vincent Canby of the New York Times noted that she and Robert Sean Leonard, look right and behave with a certain naive sincerity, although they often seem numb with surprise at hearing the complex locutions they speak. 29. The film grossed over $22 million at the box office. 30. She made three other films while at university. In 1994, she appeared as Christian Bale's love interest in Prince of Jutland, a film based on the Danish legend which inspired Shakespeare's Hamlet, 31, and starred in the murder mystery Uncovered, 32. In 1995, while studying in Paris, she filmed the French-language Marie-Louise O.U. La Permission, 33. Shortly after leaving Oxford University in 1995, Beckinsale starred in Cold Comfort Farm, as Flora Post, a newly orphaned 1930s socialite sent to live with distant family members in rural England. The John Schlesinger-directed film was an adaptation of Stella Gibbons's novel and also featured Joanna Lumley, Eileen Atkins, Ian McKellen, Rufus Sewell and Stephen Fry. Beckinsale was initially considered too young, but was cast after she wrote a pleading letter to the director. 34. Emmanuel Levy of Variety was reminded of the strength of a young Glenda Jackson and the charm of a young Julie Christie. 35. Kevin Thomas of the Los Angeles Times classed the actress as yet another of those effortlessly skilled British beauties who light up the screen. 36. Janet Maslin of the New York Times felt she played the role with the perfect snippy aplomb. 37. The film grossed over $5 million at the US box office. 38. Also in 1995, she appeared in Haunted, a ghost story in which Derek Ellie of Variety felt she holds the screen with both physical looks and verbal poise. 39. 1995 also saw Beckinsale's first professional stage appearance as Nina in The Seagull at Theatre Royal, Bath. She became romantically involved with co-star Michael Sheen after meeting during play rehearsals. 40. She later said, I was all revved up to feel very intimate.